action. Could I say that? Let us ask this question. Could I put this in the NTV or to tell people to take the name? I'm going to tell the red person that the speech of the NTV. He said, Every decent man that shape that the government is under. This book is meant to cover the NTV and the action of politicians. Up to the social manifestation. Well, what I'm glad we want to say. We can change what we should say in order. Each of us has the power to influence our community and the government for the better. Let's show it to and help leaders who should be kept with a commitment and compassion toward the common good. I would say, it is easy to say that politics can be a dirty game. But I'm telling you, it is more accurate to say that it comes to us, it depends on how it is being Let's show it to ourselves to demand better and be better. And let's help to improve honesty, transparency, and accountability. Which will help some politics to be able to serve the public interest. Thank you. Good day, judges. Good day, my fellow students. My name is Chris Olaipo. And the topic before me today is many graduates cannot express themselves. What is responsible and how can it be addressed? So I'm going to talk about five key things here. The first one is the quality of education situation of the country, discipline, distraction, and ignorance. So starting with quality of education. There are lots of distractions in the educational system and it makes it difficult for uh, undergraduates to get the best out of the system. In most cases, people get admission into school just, just for going to school sake, just for the sake of being um, a graduate. And in some cases, some people are being pressured by either their family or friends, and at the end of the day, they go into the school to um, study um, something that they really don't have interest in. And at the end of, from 100 level to 400 level, they can't even flow well. And it's quite difficult. Just a few people you can see that can come out and actually talk about what they study in school, and that is quite sad. So now, speaking about the situation of the country, there is there's no way um, that when the country is in a mess that the educational system will not be in a mess. There is no way. Now let's even talk about these secondary schools. How many of them prepare these same students for the university? You get few of them. Most of them will just say, you go to science, you go to commercial, you go to arts. That my one of my uncles told me that in those days they used to be like this. The most brilliant was the way to science, the less brilliant was the way they to commercial, and then the other was the way they to art class, which is not supposed to be. Even the most brilliant person can actually be in, in the last class. It doesn't mean, but in some cases, they will try to define it like that, and they will know that in future cases, it might actually have a repercussion. Now, talking about discipline, now let's talk about the students. You want to go to school. Fine, you are finally in school. What are you doing in school? So then go in there and then they feel like they were caged in their houses. And then when they get to school, they, they see it as a platform for them to be free. And then they get distracted on what they came to do in school. That is one of the reasons why some graduates they come out of school and then there is nothing to show for for that four days that they spent in school. They get distracted, they lose focus. On what they actually came to school to do. Now I'm 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 blending it with discipline, discipline and distraction. I'm blending it together because there is no way that you are disciplined and you be distracted. There is no way. So this distraction and discipline actually comes in together. And then ignorance. Your lecturers and your teachers cannot teach you every day. They can't. So and students, before you graduate. You should be open-minded, you should be curious, whatever you are being taught, you should always go back and try to develop your needs and do more research to know what this thing you are actually taught, what it's talking about. Now, I'm going to give you just four ways, um, four ways this can be addressed. Anything I've mentioned, I'm going to give four ways this can be addressed. Number one, graduates should always learn communication skills. So graduates can't even have a reasonable conversation. They can't. So they should learn it. Being a graduate is not a loss. Being a graduate is not a loss. You can always go back, get more knowledge, improve on yourself. Thank you.